Hi everyone and welcome to the official Transloco guide. I'm Shachar Kazaz, a member of the Transloco core team. And in this video, we are going to cover the language API. Transloco allows you to change a language in your app very easily via the service. I've created a button for each language that my app supports and clicking it will change the active language. As you can see, the translation's values changes at runtime when I click the buttons. Let's see how we can achieve that. In the config path to Transloco, we define the app's available languages. Since we use the Transloco schematics, we have the default English and Spanish values. This property can take either an array of strings or an array of ID and label objects. This comes in handy when you want to display a language selection of some sort, let's say buttons or a drop-down menu. To allow runtime language change, the re-render on language change option has to be true. Without it, the pipe and the structural directive won't listen to language changes and update the values. If you know that your app doesn't need runtime language changes, set this value to false to prevent redundant subscriptions. Let's check out the app component. I'm getting the active language by calling getActiveLang, my app's available languages by calling getAvailableLangs, and when I click one of the buttons, I call setActiveLang with the language ID. The app's available languages can also be set at runtime. Let's say I want different languages depending on the user. We can fetch the languages from the server and tell Transloco about them by calling set active langs. I'm getting the languages here from the app component, but you can also use the app initializer token to delay your app's bootstrap and get the languages before the app starts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next videos.